Hi, in this video, I'll give you some creative ideas for better pros and cons slides in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. When it comes to pros and cons slides in PowerPoint, the default option looks like this. The reason is, the layout that is normally chosen for pros and cons is the one which has two side options like this. It's called comparison and you can see that we have option for pros, cons and then you have the list laid down here. Now the problem with a slide like this is A it looks cliched, second it looks quite busy and third there are not many visual cues that are available for the audience to distinguish between pros and cons. So we are going to do a few simple tweaks to make this slide a lot better. The first thing we are going to do is to visually distinguish pros from cons. So a simple thing you can do is you select the text box related to pros and then give it a shape fill. Say for pros since it is about positives we are going to choose green color and for cons we are going to choose orange color. So now we have a simple visual cue that allows the audience to distinguish between the list here and the list here. Let us see how this simple idea is taken forward when you create slides from professional PowerPoint templates like our complete trainers PowerPoint templates bundle. You can see that the cons are clearly denoted by this orange ribbon and the pros are uh, shown by way of this beautiful green colored ribbon. And if you want a variety in your slide, then you can choose a hand-drawn slide like this, which shows pros with a green ribbon and cons with a red ribbon. And here is another alternative that says that these are positives and these are negatives. Now talking about this, these kind of symbols make it much easier for the audience to understand the core idea of these two lists apart from just the color variation. So let us try and apply symbols to make our pros and cons slides a little better. Now we are back to the pros and cons slides that we were working on and now we are going to take forward the idea of using symbols to distinguish pros and cons. So now I'm going to change the type of bullets in these bullet points to clearly indicate that these are positives or these are the right things and I'm going to leave the other ones just as dots. So let us go to the option here under paragraph group. It is called as the bullets option and now we are going to choose a different style of bullets like this one which has tick marks given. So now Pros are not only distinguished by a different color in the header, but are also shown very clearly using a different styled bullet points. Now cons will remain as dots and therefore the audience has one other visual cue to absorb the content of the slide much easily. Now the next idea to improve the pros and cons slide is to add animation so we have each of these text boxes coming on a click. So first I'm going to select all the bullet points here and I'm going to add animation called fade. So as you can see here, fade appears on a click. Then I'm going to select all the bullet points here in the cons and I'm going to apply an entrance animation called fade. So if I go to slideshow mode, pros will all come together and cons will all come together. Now if I have to take this particular idea forward, then I can show you the equivalent in terms of PowerPoint templates. Here you can see we present two sides of the argument. On a click we have all the points related to for and all the points related to against. A variation of this is this one which shows two sides of the issue, the green ones and the red ones. Now let us take this idea forward. And I'm going to go to animation pane and you can see that the various animations are shown here. I'm going to remove all this animation and I'm going to introduce a different type of animation so it is much easier for you to control each of the points as you present. So I'm going to select the text box, 
completely. I click on this bounding box and I'm going to apply wipe animation and I'm going to choose the effect options from left. Now what this does is on click each of these points appear. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to click on the bounding box here. I'm going to choose wipe and I'm going to choose from left and you can see that each of these points are coming with animation. Now when I go to slideshow mode, the way it appears is first point in pro and then second point in pros and then it goes on. Now there is one other thing that you can do which is you go down here and click on the drop down menu and that shows you that there are different types of animations that are all grouped together. Now you can click on an individual animation and you can move it right next to the previous animation associated with it. So when you present this, the corresponding con is also presented. The same way I can click on this and move it to this and I can click on this and move next to this and these and this come together. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see as I present pros, I have the corresponding cons presented and it goes on like this for the rest of the pros and cons as well. And as you can see, by doing just a little bit of rejig in the order of animation, you can make the same pros and cons slide a lot more interesting because you are providing a comparative perspective immediately to the audience. Now, if I have to take the idea forward in terms of professional PowerPoint templates from our complete trainers PowerPoint templates bundle, you will see that we have for and against. On a click, we show the point which favors and then on a click, we remove that point which is in favor and then show the point against. And a click, the next for point and then against, for, against. Now this is a far more interesting and engaging way to present your arguments. Because when you present one argument, your audience's focus rests completely on that argument instead of the attention getting diverted into all the other points that are there on the slide. And one final idea to take your pros and cons to the next level and that is to use a simple metaphor like a balancing scale. You can present your cons and pros on a single slide and you use this metaphor of a balancing scale and since everyone understands the significance of a balancing scale, they know that both the points are weighed equally. If you want to tell your audience that you actually favor the positives, then you can use a template like this. And if you want to say that there are more negatives than positives in the argument, then you use this template. So as you can see, there are many different ways to make your pros and cons slides a lot better than the way it is shown in the default option in PowerPoint. If you want a smarter option to present your ideas in a more creative way, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Complete Trainers Bundle. Complete Trainers PowerPoint Templates Bundle is a collection of 4022 premium PowerPoint templates designed to help trainers and course creators create professional quality presentations in a matter of minutes. All the slides are designed using our proprietary NeuroSlide design system which uses cutting-edge neuroscience principles to present the ideas with impact. Whether you want to represent flows, components, concepts and metaphors, cause and effect, number slides and infographics, models and frameworks, timelines and roadmaps, you have every possible variety of slide types available ready-made in Complete Trainers Bundle. You can click on the button here to know more about the product. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video. And one more thing before we close this video. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click on the link here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free email course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, it's something you can't afford to miss. I'll see you on the inside.